Welcome to Fabulous Flowers TV 12 Festive Filmettes and I'm going to show you how to create a wonderful festive bow decoration. The sort of thing that looks really really welcoming and super easy to do. So without further ado I shall crack on. So you know when you buy your Christmas tree and you cut those boughs at the bottom that are annoying, one sticking out too far, so those ones you chop off don't throw them away. So I'm going to show you how to effectively make a beautiful bow decoration that could go anywhere in the house. You could pop it at the end of your banister, you could put one each side of a mantelpiece, it's so easy to do and here we go. So I've got some really lovely blue pine boughs here and I'm just lying them flat and crossing them over very simply like that. This is the sort of thing um, back in the sort of 70s and the 60s would have been how you'd make a flat bouquet. They've slightly gone out of style now um, in the floristry world but this is a lovely thing to do with some boughs. So if you go on a nice walk, family walk, you could cut a few on the way. Um, but use anything. Use laurel, use bay, um, some lovely mistletoe if you're feeling a bit, bit romantic. Um, so we're lying them flat on the table like that. And then I'm going to add, going to keep it really, really simple as I said, I'm going to add some cones. So these cones I've gilded, which um, in another Fabulous Flowers TV film, I show you, I'll show you how to do it. And it's literally spraying them with silver spray, gold spray in a bag, and you get a kind of silver gold mix, gilver. So professionally, how to wire a cone. Take your cone, add your wire, your stub wire, which we get from a florist supplier, and you turn it round nice and tightly and twist the cone like that. And then you've got a, a, long, a long leg and a short leg. So I've done lots and lots of those. So we're going to add a little cluster of them just to give it a little bit of a frostiness. So here we have them here all wired already. So I'm just going to add them and thread them in like this. Now back in the day, so it's lovely to be in Lucy's kitchen doing this, and back in the day at her parents' house, um, her lovely mother Wendy used to make a bow decoration like this. She'd pick, you know, lovely bits from the garden, an evergreen tree, as I said, the bottom of the Christmas tree, those bits that no one wants, and she'd gather them and you'd arrive at the house and you'd always think, oh, Wendy's been creating her lovely bow decoration again this year. Uh, so she'd get the boughs, gather them together, maybe some lovely frosty cones and a big bow. So um, this is just in tribute to uh, Lucy's lovely ma, Wendy. So we're adding them really simply like this in a little cluster. It's, as I said, it's really simple and quite a lot of impact, but you can add anything you like. You could spray a little, spray snow on it if you felt a bit kind of, um, a bit kind of, uh, what's the word, extra festive, a bit white Christmas. So we're adding them there, keeping them nice and nestled like that. Um, I think we can add a few more. And you could do it with natural cones if you were feeling very, very kind of hedgerow. Um, but this, this, this gilvering on the cones just adds another bit of twinkle. So got it all gathered, the wires and the stems of the boughs, comme ça. And then we take our trusty anchor tape, which is a nice sticky florist tape. It's really amazing. Get it from your florist supplier or online. So I've cut a nice length of it and this will secure our wonderful bow decoration. So pop it round and don't be shy. You've got to be quite vicious with pulling it tightly, otherwise it's all going to fall apart. So going round a few times with it, like that. So that has basically secured it, like that. And give it a good old squeeze, like that. And then you think, well, what am I doing this year with my ribbons? Am I going raffia? Am I going ribbon? You could use a lovely green one, which is gorgeous, or a gorgeous bit of tartan, funky orange, you know, go mad, have fun. But I'm going to use some lovely raffia. So. This is just a lovely thing you can get from a craft shop and it's got that lovely kind of slightly farmyardy rustic look. So you get a lovely length of it like that, pop it under and I'm just going to do it in a very rustic, I think I'm going to do a bow, but you can do a knot if you're feeling a bit kind of butch. <laughs> so a lovely bow here, snagging, snagging on one of my cones, um, that's it, and keep it quite rustic. So it's don't be afraid of being vicious with it. And, and for that really professional look, I like to chop the ends of 
the uh, raffia just to give it a nice little kind of chopped professional look like that and then this your lovely wendy's bow decoration pop it anywhere around the house on your front door have fun and enjoy making it <laughs>